get back into a group like that, how has how that felt and, and what's maybe clicked in these last few games? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't try to do anything different. Whatever I am or am not scoring, it's just sometimes the puck goes in for you, sometimes it doesn't. The last few games, I, 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 I like who I've been playing a little bit better than uh, I was, so hopefully I can continue to move on. Does it even provide a sense of relief or validation when the pucks do start to go in and you kind of see the, the big results paying off? I don't know about relief. Uh, I think that winning is the most important thing we're all here for. And, um, as long as we continue to win and, and be a team that can go deep in the playoffs, and that's all that we're, we're focused on. How much, in a strange way, because you're, you're short, like guys know you got to get back, you got to be more defensive minded. How much does that play into it? You know, into into you playing a two way hockey game now. I guess yeah, yeah, yeah. Philly, knowing that you could be short on defense or you short the other day on defense, and guys just making sure they have a head start. I try to watch. Yeah, I think it really. Makes you focus on a lot of different things, honestly. I mean, keeping the shift short, make sure that you're helping your D out whenever they're out there and tired, and make sure you got to be able to get the puck out in hand so they can change. Um, and obviously, keeping the puck out of your net whenever you're shorthanded is key. So you definitely have to focus on the defensive side of the puck a little bit more. Was that how strange a situation was that? For D, I think. Um, I mean, I didn't have to worry about it because I'm not playing D, but I'm sure it was difficult for those guys playing 30 minutes. Thank you.